Greetings everyone and welcome to Nims Toots, the tutorial show where we teach you how to build something awesome in Minecraft. Today we're going to challenge conventional wisdom with a simple image and statement. If this is your go-to T flip-flop, this is not good. It's slow, noisy, and expensive. Today we're going to look at three different designs that'll blow this one out of the water. The first tea flip flop we're going to be looking at is a redstone only variant. This one is awesome because it is rather compact for being only redstone, which is why I chose this one. Uh, it is totally silent silent and updates very quickly so as soon as we push the button you can see this is our output repeater here. As soon as we push that button the update or the uh, the output changes so I've got a castle gate over here uh, I'll be sure to include a link in the description on how to build this but this is what we're going to be using to test all of these different variants so I've got a couple of blocks here so let's go ahead and take our button and we're gonna place it right here now that we know where we want the button to be we're going to build a two by five platform and we'll adjust the output accordingly we're going to be building a 2x5 platform off the button so then we place a redstone torch off the side repeater here set to three ticks that's very important then redstone in a little l shaped like that then we need two repeaters both on a single tick delay then i want the signal to come to the right so we're going to place it like that and then of course i would trail this signal down to whatever output i want this to be Cool, so now I've got the output wired up. Let's go ahead and push the button, make sure it works. fan freaking tastic and the castle gate opens. We push the button again, and it closes. Cool, so this one is, again, very awesome. You can see the resources needed on my action bar. Just a couple of repeaters, a torch, and a button is really all this thing takes. The next one we'll be looking at is an updated version of my hopper flip flopper this one is fantastic again it is silent just like the previous one uh, it is very compact but it is a little bit more resource heavy it also updates immediately which is very very nice to have in your t flip flops uh, it simply works by pushing the button the torches toggle but because of the delay of redstone torches there is a like half a second where the redstone is off which lets the item inside these hoppers transfer back and forth and then the comparator detects the movement of that item so if we push it the item then ends up in this first hopper comparator detects it and that's awesome push the button again comparator sees that the items been moved back T flip-flop is working strong this one is super easy to build. We're back over here at the castle gate. We're going to start out with a block, put a button on top of that block. On the back side of the block, we're going to place a redstone torch feeding into a solid block again with another redstone torch off of that. Then we've got to do a little bit of fanciness here to be able to place down our hoppers. We need to make sure that these hoppers feed into each other. And the easiest way of doing that is let's take a look at the little tails that trail off of them. You can see here that the tails are pointing into each other so we know those hoppers are facing each other then we need to add just one signal single item put redstone on the top and I'm able to place that redstone by holding shift and then we got to come around to the back and add our comparator output now if you need to travel any length of distance with this you'll probably need to add a repeater as well due to uh, the output of the comparator being so weak then you would just wire this up into your output and I think this one will be close enough that I can do it on camera fantastic and now whenever we push the button the gate opens we'll push the button again and the gate closes fantastically done and the last t flip flop that we're going to be looking at today is uh what a piston t flip flop should be instead of that original one that we looked at that we've already established is terrible this one is just fantastic and has way uh better features and is way more compact and updates faster and it's just it's just better it's better in every single way so let's go build this into the castle gate and then we'll further explore what makes this the greatest t flip-flop ever so the first thing we've got is our solid block with a button on it then we need to place a redstone torch on top of that then let's 
place a sticky piston facing inwards, a sticky piston facing upwards, then we need to add a cauldron. It's very important that we fill that cauldron up with water, otherwise our comparator output, which we've just placed, wouldn't uh, see anything inside the container and wouldn't send a signal. The last thing that we need to do is just like before, uh, the output from the comparator might be a little weak, so you might need to add a repeater depending on the distance you're traveling. Uh, so from here, we can just go ahead and hit that button. We can see the entire thing updates, fantastic, push the button again, you can see that comparator output changes, and the castle gate closes. Fantastic. So now you're undoubtedly asking yourself, what makes this one the greatest steep flip-flop? It's noisy, it's loud, it's resource uh, inefficient. Well, that's because there's no redstone in it. Whereas if we place this one or this one right next to each other, they'd connect and that would break the device. Uh, this one, we can stack next to each, each other as far as we wanted and they would all continue to work independently of each other. It is absolutely fantastic this is such a space efficient design there is so much coolness about it the fact that we can just stack these right next to each other makes it just one of the greatest uh t flip flops that i've ever seen i'm just adding the cauldrons add the water and there we go now you can see no matter what button i push it does not affect its neighbor in any way it's awesome it's awesome it's awesome and every single sense of the word we can just oh yeah oh yeah now the last thing that i wanted to show you in today's video uh is how we say you don't want your button directly on these designs that's fine i'm going to show you how to take that input out a little bit so let's take off a couple buttons here so the first thing instead of the button being your input let's take that button and i need a little bit of redstone and we'll take it out like this and then just run a repeater into where the button was previously placed so now watching that repeater in the background you can see it updates every time i push the button let's do the same thing here so we're adding the redstone, add the repeater, add the button, cool. Then watching the comparator off the end, it updated. Now this one, if you were to build this in some sort of stacking fashion, you're going to need to use repeaters in order to uh, keep your currents separate or you will update two at the same time. But what is also fantastic about this one is you could use some sort of alternating redstone pattern like this to try to save on your repeater cost you so you can see we push the button the output changes we push this button and just watching the cauldron we can tell the output changes so again if we were to continue stacking this there would be uh here and here and then like that and we don't need that those buttons and then it'd be here here etc etc as far as you needed and then your buttons would just go like that so now you could see that no matter what button i push on this array the cauldron in the background will update so very very cool i would highly highly recommend you favorite this video so the next time you're watching a tutorial from someone else maybe myself and they're like install a t flip-flop you're like I know what T flip flop to use. Let me just go to my favorites, be like, oh, here's that T flip flop video that has all the greatest T flip flops ever designed, at least up to this point. Uh, we are approaching 1.8. So these are the greatest T flip flops as of 1.8, unless something massive changes in the next couple of days. So don't forget to like, again, favorite. I highly encourage you to do so and share this video with your friends who, who are using the wrong T flip flops. I'm sorry, but you are, you are. Anyway, thanks for watching this Nims Toot. My name is Nims and I'll see you next time.